Welcome back to Blockchain Pill. My name is Alex, and in this video, we're gonna learn more about Bitcoin DeFi and how I think that the ICP price could go 10x just like that for simply having solved Bitcoin DeFi. In my previous episode, I launched a rune on a platform called Blockminer. And runes are basically the meme coins on Bitcoin. On Blockminer Fun, you can, you know, spend your Bitcoin to mine, you know, various runes, one of them being mine. And although I talked about how ICP solves Bitcoin DeFi, I wasn't really aware, I didn't experience Bitcoin DeFi without ICP just to know how big of a difference ICP can actually make. Until last week when, you know, after mining some of my HDOG, I, I decided to go to ReachSwap, which is the Bitcoin DEX that, you know, Blockminer Fund works with, to try to add some liquidity to the HashDog pair. And let me just showcase how terrible Bitcoin DeFi is without ICP. So let's say that, you know, we want to make a swap here. We connect to ReSwap. We select, you know, my rune, hashdog, and I want to make, I want to buy $50 worth of this rune. The time is 13.02 when I'm recording this. Let's try and swap and you're going to understand exactly why Bitcoin DeFi is only now starting to take off only because ICP solved this massive, massive problem. So let's do this. We try to do the swap and we just confirm. Let me actually try to make this transaction and then cool. So it says success, you know, convert whatever this is, 50,000 Satoshis to uh, 50,000 H dog. It says success, but we can see that the swap haven't, hasn't happened. And this video is not an attack on ReadSwap by any means or anything. This is not an attack, but this is the transaction here. And ReadSwap is not leveraging the ICP tech stack to actually benefit from the speed, security, low costs and so on and so forth. So let's see how long a transaction takes. And I'm gonna tell you, usually a Bitcoin transaction happens between like seven and 10 minutes, you know, to finalize. This is because Bitcoin blocks take an average of 10 minutes, meaning that all the transactions that people are trying to make go into this one block that gets sold every 10 minutes, they get confirmed by the Bitcoin miners and only then the transaction happen. If when DeFi came out, you would have had to wait 10 minutes for a transaction, we wouldn't have DeFi right now. Nobody's gonna wait 10 minutes to have a transaction. This is unacceptable. And because I don't wanna waste your time, we're gonna pause now, I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna fast forward to when this transaction has happened. So we are two minutes in right now and the transaction is still waiting. Imagine going to pump fun, imagine going and trying to swap tokens or memes on Solana or on ICP or anywhere else. And it takes you more than a couple of seconds to do a transaction. Most holders on pump fun, they don't hold for two minutes. And here we're waiting, it's already three minutes and you know, let's keep fast forwarding. Okay, so right now we are five minutes in and the transaction didn't happen yet. This generation right now, they scroll on TikTok and skip a video after like half a second. And once again, listen, this is not a reach swap attack. This is not me trying to say that, you know, reach swap is, is bad for the transactions taking 10 minutes. This is the reality of Bitcoin DeFi without ICP. There is no other solution that solves this. And we're gonna see, you know, after this transaction happens, we're gonna go to Odin Fund, which is the fastest Bitcoin DeFi platform and it leverages the ICP tech stack, making it fast like nothing else. So let's keep fast forwarding and uh, getting to the transaction actually finalizing. I think this is the blockchain tracker of you know Bitcoin. We're already seven minutes into the transaction and the ETA is in nine minutes. So there's gonna be another nine minutes until the transaction goes through. And this is the reality of Bitcoin DeFi without ICP. You know, I, I, I keep saying it. I keep saying the same thing, but this is, this is Bitcoin DeFi right now. This is the state of Bitcoin DeFi, and this is why we really haven't seen Bitcoin DeFi really take off. So nine more minutes, you know, I'm gonna probably go have a coffee, you know, have a meal, have do something else with my time. And uh, yeah, we'll be back, we'll be back. So let me, let me just reiterate how crazy the state of Bitcoin DeFi is right now. I made a transaction 12 minutes ago. There are still nine more minutes remaining until this trade goes through, according to this website, mempool.space. 13 minutes in the transaction and the transaction didn't go through yet. 
This is the reason why Bitcoin DeFi has not taken off. This is just absolutely incredible. It looks like, you know, the buy maybe went through here, like it shows, but it's not in my wallet yet. I don't know if, if this was me or if this is somebody else, you know, the price was a little bit lower. I still don't see the tokens in my account. And the transaction is still pending. Is this transaction ever gonna go through? I don't know. So forget about 10 minutes, you know, which was already a lot of time, 10 minutes. It's like half an hour for a rune transaction, with, which is just unacceptable. Now, I'm talking to the reach swap team here. You know, there is a thing called ICP. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. Get in touch with Definity. Figure out how to actually do what Odin Fund does and do it. And we're gonna go to Odin Fund, you know, you know hopefully <laughs> soon after this transaction finishes. And, you know, we're gonna see just how big of a difference it makes. Cool, so let's see, it's still 14 minutes in, nine more minutes, we're gonna keep fast forwarding this video. And you know what, I'm not gonna waste, I'm not gonna waste any more time, like we're gonna get back to this. So we are 16 minutes in the, in the transaction. Let's just double check it again. 15 minutes into the transaction, still nine more minutes to go. And there's really no point in, in waiting for this transaction to end. I wanna go to Odin Fun, show you how Bitcoin DeFi looks like when it's using ICP, and then, you know, everybody can make up their mind whether or not ICP has solved Bitcoin DeFi. So this is Odin Fun, which is the fastest Bitcoin DeFi uh, launcher and DEX. You log into their website with your Xverse wallet, and the only thing that takes time is actually depositing Bitcoin to their platform. And here you're gonna wait, you know, the, the whatever it takes, like seven to 10 minutes, which is a Bitcoin block. Let's deposit 0 0.00001, $11. I already have money here. So you deposit the money here. You're gonna have to wait one time, but after you have waited the amount of time, we don't have to wait for it now. But after you did that, you can buy runes instantly. Instantly, let me show you. So this is the like the uh, main dog of Odin Fund, and you can just buy. Let me show you just how quickly you can buy. Let's make it 1,000 sets per buy, and this is how quickly you can buy stuff. There you go. This is one transaction. There you go. It took half a second, one second finality. We can do multiple transactions, and they all go through just like that in half a second. Instead of waiting and waiting and waiting, half an hour for a transaction. See, instead of waiting that long, 17 minutes and counting, we're closing in on 30 minutes. You can just buy tokens with a single click and instantly, 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 instantly. There you go. So we have Bitcoin DeFi without ICP right now on one hand, 30 minutes. And then we have Bitcoin DeFi leveraging the ICP tech stack just like that. So you're maybe wondering, what the fuck? What the hell? How is it possible? Let's do 0 0.00001. Let's copy this and do it from here. Place, in, place transaction. There we go, instantly. This is as quick as pump fun, if not quicker, right? Place a, you place a buy order and it buys it to you instantly. And this is me here. This is, this is me buying tokens, is it not? Yeah, 1K sets, that is me. The reason why I've been talking about Bitcoin DeFi more and more recently is because a lot of people are fading it. And Bitcoin DeFi, a lot of projects are trying to solve Bitcoin DeFi. You know, we, we hear Charles from Ada Cardano saying that, you know, ADA is going to be the, the Bitcoin DeFi layer, you know, sometime in the future, whenever. Listen, ICP has solved Bitcoin DeFi and it works today. We have Bitcoin DeFi thanks to ICP right now. So for the people wondering, okay, how is this possible? How can you bypass a 30 minute transaction time leveraging ICP? I wanna, le I wanna leverage ICP and do that. So the magic stays in a token called CKBTC. CKBTC stands for Chain Key Bitcoin, which is a token on the internet computer blockchain that's backed one-to-one -one by real Bitcoin. In other words, one CKBTC is always redeemable for one BTC and vice versa. Unlike wrapped tokens that rely on fragile bridges or centralized custodians, CKBTC works through native protocol level integrations and chain key cryptography, making it more secure and decentralized. 
So why is CKBTC useful? Lightning fast transactions, and we saw how, how fast they were, sending CKBTC settles in one to two seconds, which is much quicker than the typical 10 minute block times on the Bitcoin network. That was not 10 minutes on ReadSwap. It, it, we're still in the transaction, still waiting for the transaction to happen. So it's been 22 minutes and we actually, the transaction got uh, completed. 22 minutes, let me refresh, see my, there we go. Around, maybe not 22, around 20 minutes for a Bitcoin transaction is wild. I'm gonna say it now, you cannot have DeFi with 22 minute transaction time, you just cannot. Cool, so let's go back to CKBTC and how ICP makes it possible. Tiny fees, a fixed transaction fee of just 0.00001 CKBTC, which is around 10 Satoshis, make, making micropayments practical and affordable. Fully verifiable and transparent, you can always check on chain that the amount of CKBTC in circulation is backed by actual BTC and it's a trustless system, no third party bridges or middlemen, everything is handled by canister smart contracts using chain key SEDSA to process Bitcoin transactions directly. Now you hear this and myself included, I, you, you read SEDSA, I don't know what the hell is SEDSA is. I don't know how this works. It doesn't really matter how this works. All that matters is that you can have transactions at a click of a button instantly. And this is what DGENs and this is what people and this is what DeFi should look like. You know, instant transactions. I don't care. It can run on, on whatever it, can, it wants to run. I don't care what it runs on. I just want, when I try to buy a token, I want it to be instant. And this is possible only by leveraging ICP. A lot of more people may be unaware of this. But they will be aware because this is the only way that Bitcoin DeFi can actually uh, happen and how, how it can work. And today in 2025, not 2030. So how, how I'm envisioning ICP actually getting value from people building on top of it. Sure, you're going to have a, a few builders build on top of it. You know, you don't have to kill them with the fees. You don't have to go full mafia on people building using your tech. But down the line, I think there should be a fee that all of those projects, and it's, it's not just Odin Fund, it's Odin Fund right now, and there are a few other protocols that are leveraging CKBTC to do something that is not possible anywhere else. Listen, there should be a fee. You know, you, if, you wanna, if you wanna use the platform and make hundreds of th thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars you know, a day from, uh, by leveraging this, you're gonna have to pay a fee. This is what the government does as well. You know, after one year, they come to you, you you've had a great year. Haven't you? Yeah, okay. yeah. Give us sixty percent. Those are taxes. I'm not saying sixty percent. Like we're you're not a government, but there should be some fees, and those fees generated by all of those platforms, uh, leveraging CKBTC and other uh, other tools built by built by Definity. All of those fees should go or could go into buying back ICP, and that's when we're gonna see a massive pump on ICP when uh, when all of those fees, which are not gonna be you know, insignificant are gonna go back into the token. I think just by solving Bitcoin DeFi, ICP should be at least 10 times higher than it is right now. And we're not even taking into consideration like Caffeine AI, you're building apps just like that with, with a prompt, two prompts, five prompts, 10 prompts, that on top of it, and then you can host everything, your app, you know, backend and frontend and everything on ICP, that alone. So listen, ICP is a 100 billion project that is sitting at two, three billion, what it is right now. And I think that when people realize and when, you know, ReachSwap and other Bitcoin projects are gonna start leveraging the ICP tech stack, that's when we're gonna see a, a huge, crazy move to the upside for ICP. So I'm gonna keep covering Bitcoin DeFi in the future because I think this is super exciting and this is one of the most clear applications of ICP that I've seen in a while. And uh, yeah, listen, ReachSwap, this was not, this video, hopefully you're not gonna take it the wrong way. This was not an attack on uh, ReadSwap, this is just the reality of Bitcoin DeFi with ICP and then without ICP. So we're looking at half a second transaction versus 22 minutes transaction. That is just out of the question. Like this is not gonna work. Bitcoin DeFi will not take off with 22 minute transaction times. Cool, so that's the video for today. If you liked it, leave a like and share it with a friend. Leave a comment, let me know what you think about it. And uh, yeah, that's the video for today. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.